What's ripening in YouTube? So we're back here on this job in Alva. And today we're finally doing the planting of the bamboo windbreak. So if you look, I don't know how far you can see. You can see that we've retilled and then we've bedded up this line. Basically we're just loosening the soil so it's easier for us to plant. I'll show you what the better looks like real quick. This is uh, everything attachments better. I actually ordered a second pair of discs because I'm trying to really scoop everything to the to the middle. And what I actually did was scooped all the material to the middle and then I backbladed with the tractor to flatten it off. Then we laid out our bamboo. We've got our holes dug. And then now we've got a scoop of compost in between each one. The, uh, the plants are gonna be delivered shortly and we'll start putting the plants in as we continue preparing the, uh, the tree line or the bed line but um, I always forget to film, so I wanted to do a little clip while we're stalled waiting for the plants and uh, show you guys what's going on and uh, let you see what it looks like to put in a windbreak. Obviously there's other ways to do this, but this is what we've done and uh, see what else we get done today. All right, so here's a little pro tip. If you're gonna be using flags, like especially if you're gonna reuse the flags, do not buy those ones from Home Depot because the little flag thing just pulls off the, the, uh, the stick like immediately. These ones from Site One, you can go to Site One or you can probably order something like this. These, you can see I've got some vintage, <laughs> these are pretty old. These have, these have been in the sun for a long time. They've been reused and they stay. So if you're gonna, if you're gonna use flags, especially if you're gonna be laying them out and reusing them, get really good flags. That really makes sense because nobody likes a piece of metal sticking out of the ground with no flag on it. It's really easy to get poked by it. Or, you know, if you got kids running around, you don't want someone to get poked in the eye or something worth the investment they cost a little bit more just get them all right so while we're waiting for the plants to get delivered let's take a little walk through of the old poop forest here uh, one thing that i'm noticing is that the sweet potato ground cover and the cow pea have definitely created coverage on the ground uh, we've had to come in and recently and remove they've kind of climbed up on some of the trees so we're just kind of taking them down mostly letting them do their thing cover everything keep the ground shaded Ooh, check these out some nice fat lemon cat lay guavas one of my favorite guavas i'm not normally a guava guy but those are really good and then here's that banana if you if you, get, you guys follow me and you saw the the banana plant with 22 leaves on it let me show you what happened since we left hey oh not too bad first rack Sometimes the first rack on a new mat will be uh, a little small. This one looks like it's actually a really good size. So that's a, it's a happy banana. You can see the ground cover is really taking over. Bananas are starting to come into maturity and probably the majority of these are gonna flower before the end of the year, which is super exciting. Didn't take long. We just planted this, planted this around Christmas. I think we're gonna have bananas by Christmas. Pretty exciting and uh, just keep going forward all right so here's another thing that i like this right here is called a yard glider you can get it on i think it's like yardglider.com came up for me on my instagram ads it's just this really thick piece of plastic basically and they put a um a little draw bar on it and it's got cables it's awesome for moving around plants you don't have to put them up in a trailer or up in a anywhere you can just keep them at ground level it just kind of cruises over the surface you can put a lot of weight on this thing as you can see i've got quite a few bamboo in here and uh, man i really like this thing Day two on the project. I'm gonna show you real quick the template that we're using for this windbreak. And I'll explain a little bit about why we chose what we chose. And uh, here we go. All right, so this windbreak is covering about 1100 linear feet, which is pretty far. And the budget was such that we did not want to put in bamboo really, really tight because it would have just blown their budget. So we actually went with 10 foot spacing 
on the bamboo, 10 feet in between. And we're using uh, Bambusa malingensis, which is the uh, sea breeze bamboo. We're using this because it will have lots of uh, foliage from top to bottom. So it's gonna fill in pretty nice. In the long term, this will be a solid windbreak. Um, but in the short term, what we've done is added a few supporting species that are gonna act as some quick vegetation and also they're gonna fix nitrogen. So what we have here, you can see here's a bamboo, bamboo. Right at the midpoint, we have an ice cream bean. And we're planting these out of these tree pots. Um, that's the way I've been doing pretty much all of my support species lately. And then in between the ice cream bean and the bamboo, we have a pigeon pea on both sides. So we've got something. Hey so we've got something filling this space in between in the meantime. And what we're probably gonna do, I'm trying to get approval from the client, we're probably gonna do some kind of uh, cover crop along this mid basin here. If, if they don't wanna do that, then we may have to come in and, and add some mulch in between the plants. Um, but I've been doing it at my place a different way with leaving some bare ground in the middle and then, and then putting a seed mix and, and having it be a vegetative ground cover. And I really like the results I've been getting. So I'm gonna recommend that here. We'll probably do um, buckwheat or a bush bean. I'm not really sure. Or we may go with the, uh, the, the uh, cowpea, which is what they already have. The only problem with the cowpea is that it climbs all over stuff. So you have to pay attention to it. But anyway, that's, you can see the, the windbreak continues that way. The guys are still moving material to the far end, getting compost put down. The bamboos are already in. I'm just popping in these support species and raking this one piece just so they have a template of how, how I want it to look. And then I'm actually gonna jump off onto another another project site here in a little bit and uh, hopefully come back and this will be way further along. All right, we're pretty much wrapped up. Last thing is to put out some seeds. We've got a Xenia mix for some nice cut flowers. We've got a whole sack of buckwheat. We're not obviously gonna use all of this, but putting out the buckwheat. And we've got a provider bush bean. And these are the ones that we're putting in right along the midline underneath the bamboo, just to give it a quick green cover, put some fertility and some life into the soil and get things kicked off. So that's it for this one. Bamboo's put in, everything's mulched up and we're out of here. See you next time.